the Farmingdale High School, Dante Alighieri, Italian Honor Society, and present the graduating seniors on the board with a medal for their outstanding service and the juniors with a pin for service. Isabella Giordano. <laughs> Vice President Nadia Pinarli. Treasurer Matteo Laurino. <laughs> Secretary Nicolina Kane. <laughs> Media Coordinator Brian Stabile. <laughs> Historian Ariana Strazzera. to introduce you to the other Italian to hear teachers that are here tonight. Dottoressa Rivera, Signora Lentini, Signora Crivici from Howard Middle School, retirees, Signora Green and Mrs. Langan, retired language teachers, and Mrs. Rita Patton, former director of foreign languages. to welcome our principal, Dr. Thompson, assistant principal, Mr. Herman, and our dedicated supporter, world language director, Dr. Isabel. <laughs> Dr. Isabel would now like to say a few words. In that case, you may sit down. Some definitions use, even use phrases like superiority or inflated worth. 
So obviously, the dictionary definitions are not able to capture what is going on with the Italian language program here at Farmingdale High School. Because it is on the one hand, those definitions describe a vice, and on the other hand, a virtue. So, 2022, next step, Wikipedia. So after a discussion in Wikipedia, there's actually a page for pride, there's a discussion about the Western civilization's philosophy of pride, the emotional aspects of pride, the economic relationship of pride, a ton of other aspects of the word, and then finally, there is a few sentences that indicate a sense of pride that I associate with our Italian program. So there's a small section towards the bottom of the page that discuss the ethnic elements of pride. And there it's described, pride is described as a feeling of self-confidence, self-respect, celebrating one's heritage, and being proud of one's worth. So I think that definition is much closer. So, however, I'm going to say that the description that I read and I liked the most, most was found on the Shine website, most specifically on a blog post related, related to the gay pride celebrated within the LGBTQ community. So if you don't mind, I'd like to read a few sentences that really resonated for me and I think capture the spirit of our Italian language program. And I think it has an important message and reminder for all of us. And so the author writes, the legacy of pride is one of bold, unapologetic, self-celebration. It's a way of proclaiming to yourself and to the world, I deserve to take up space on this grand planet, just as I am. It takes a lot of courage to show up, masks off, in the world, to speak and live your truth. It requires that we be vulnerable. It requires that we do the internal work to know ourselves first. The journey to authentic living can be a rocky and uncomfortable path, but it's such a worthy endeavor. So how is it that the Italian language program came to have this pervasive sense of pride? It, it permeates just about every conversation I've had with our Italian students and their teachers. Many of our Italian students have Italian heritage and ancestry, which drew them to the language, perhaps. So perhaps the Italian language program's pride is an extension of their pride in their own Italian heritage. When you think of Italian and Italian-American cultures, you tend to think of people who deeply value history, who appreciate the treasures of art, have a love for flair and fashion, who revere family and traditions, and of course, who are devoted to wonderful food. When you consider these aspects, it becomes evident that the Italian heritage is one of deep tradition for the passions of life. Modern sociologist and author Brene Brown would call this wholeheartedness or a sense of bringing your fullest self to your own life, celebrating it, and experiencing all the richness that life has to offer in its fullest. We currently live during a time of modern American society in which there are so many things that have the potential to dampen this passion for living. There's the day-to-day -day stress and commotion of just moving from one place to another, traveling to work or school, shopping, running errands, even going from period to period in the hallways here at the same time as 1,600 other students. It's a lot. And then there's the constant stimulation from music, TV, video games, and cell phones. On the one hand, it can seem as though all of this hubbub is in itself a passionate experience of life. But I propose that all this noise and movement can overwhelm the senses, and that can lead us to shutting down, retreating, and feeling less passionate about our day-to-day -day lives. Each of us, both students and adults, we all have to learn to manage the stimulations and pressures of modern life. And this can ebb and flow. We might have it all in balance in one season and then need a break in the next. Students, as you move through the next few years of your life, the very busy, very stimulating and demanding next few years of your life, I encourage you to manage the bustle and the hubbub of your environment purposefully, thoughtfully. Make deliberate choices about when to listen to music and when to seek stillness and silence. Let your minds take a break from social media, videos, and studying, because it is from that stillness that passion emerges. It's hard to be passionate and excited about something, after all, when you're exhausted. So the pride and passion that you have now for your work as an Italian language learner, for discovering the world beyond Farmingdale, for your own Italian heritage, these are all very important aspects of yourselves and your lives, but they are not immutable. 
they can be threatened and changed. So I hope that you take a moment this evening to reflect, to acknowledge this pride in your work, your learning, and your accomplishments. I hope that you can recognize the passion of the language and culture and what an important element that is. And indeed, it is a precious one. As we've noted, not all languages have this element. And I hope you develop an appreciation for this unique quality, and in doing so, that you become committed to defending something that has become important to you. Take time to rest, to practice self-care, and in doing so, to protect your own wholehearted approach to life. For one lays the foundation for the other. Rest lays the foundation for wholehearted living. I congratulate you on tonight's accomplishment and wish you all the best for a passionate next phase of your life. At this time, I would like to invite Isabella Giordana to the podium. Good evening. My name is Isabella Giordano, and it has been a pleasure serving as the president of the Italian Honor Society this past year. Let's face it, many of us chose to take Italian classes because of our heritage or for most food. I mean, who wouldn't want to go on field trips to Little Italy and enjoy the incredible cuisine? But I can tell you, as Jessica, having gone on my first trip to Italy last month, and seeing the Sistine Chapel and the Colosseum in person, the places we have been studying come to life was transformative and enhanced my appreciation for this beautiful language. The truth is, Italian language and culture has contributed to our everyday lives in so many ways. And many of us are completely unaware of just how immersed we are in the culture that we are celebrating tonight. One of my greatest takeaways from my trip is what we should live more like Italians. Italians are the most carefree people you will ever meet. They don't get frustrated when there are traffic jams on tiny roads. They walk as if there is no destination in sight. And they take siestas in the afternoon, then go back to work for the night. Here in America, we are always worried about our next steps. What are we going to eat for dinner? What will happen if we are late to class? How does this person perceive me? Italians wouldn't think twice about the minor inconveniences life throws our way. They live by the dolce vita motto, which means the good life. Italians are the most welcoming people you will ever meet. When I was in Rome, I noticed that not everyone is Italian, but they are all speaking the language and living the Italian way of life. The last two days of my trip, some of my relatives came up to Rome from Palermo to visit us for the weekend. While I had never met them in person until then, they welcomed us to their country with open arms and explained the history of some of the historical monuments like the Pantheon and the Spanish Steps, while also providing me with insight into my family history as well. A moment I will never forget is on the last day of the trip while enjoying dinner, a strange lady approached our table, and it turns out to be my relative's friend that was driving them to the airport later in the evening. She sat down at our table and started explaining to us how she knows my cousins and what she was doing in Rome. It turns out that she's my great aunt's brother, and they work together as tour guides for an agency that does tours in Italy and all over the world. She is from Holland, and during the pandemic, she stayed with my relatives for two months and became like family to them. I was amazed by her story, and at that moment, I understood why she said Italians had the best hospitality in the world. Coming back here to Farmingdale High School, we all have found our family in the Italian Honor Society. Whether you're Italian or not, here you're part of the familia. I would also like to touch on the beauty and astonishing history of the country we have been studying for the past six years. While some of you may have dreaded the art history and geography units of the many Italian courses we have taken, you can't deny that a country built on Roman ruins is amazing. Walking around Italy felt like a movie. The beautiful coast of Sorrento, the historic monuments of Rome, and the carefully crafted churches. Not to mention, I have never seen bigger lemons in my whole life. <laughs> I was speechless on the various tours of the Colosseum, the Vatican Museum, and Pompeii. They say you can dig a hole anywhere in Rome and you are guaranteed to uncover a new piece of history. My goal in sharing my experience with you all is not to make you feel like you're missing out if you don't get the chance to go to Italy, but to understand and fully appreciate
appreciate the astonishing beauty and how lucky we are to study and have studied this language and culture. I hope that wherever life takes us, that we live as the Italians do, la dolce vita. Lastly, I'd like to thank you all for coming to our induction ceremony. I would like to congratulate the new inductees on their incredible accomplish accomplishment of obtaining the requirements of the Italian Honor Society throughout the year to be inducted. I would also like to congratulate my fellow seniors on their amazing accomplishments, and I can't wait to see what life has in store for us. I would like to thank the Nutella, aka Glue, that keeps our honor society running smooth, Ms. Mezzaracca, for trusting me with this amazing organization and encouraging me to run for the board as a shy sophomore. Without her, I would not have the courage to stand up here and speak to you all tonight. Walking into 8th grade Italian and having a teacher that was able to find such unique ways to teach us about the language and culture, I could tell I had picked the right language. Her intense passion and love for the Italian language, culture, teaching, her students, and her students put a smile on my face every time I walk into her classroom. I am so grateful for all that you have done for me, the club, and the Farmingdale community, your classes, and beyond. To the teachers, Dr. Rivera, Ms. Lentini, Ms. Krivicic, Ms. Green, and Ms. Mezzaracca for sparking my interest in Italian and keeping this language lively throughout the district. And last but not least, I would like to thank you, the parents and guardians of these students for supporting them and helping them get to where they are today. Thank you and have a good night.
Not all teachers can do that, but every year of Italian has been more and more exciting and enjoyable. The playful energy has always kept us engaged. Thank you to Ms. Mezzarocca for being the glue that has kept us together. Your hard work does not go unseen, and I am so grateful to have had you as a teacher, advisor, supporter, and most, most of all, a leader. You have inspired me, and I'm deep, deeply grateful to have had the privilege to be your student. As someone who wants to be a future educator, I look up to your passion and all the work that you've done for us. I'd also like to thank everyone here collectively for choosing me to be on your board. It's been an honor to serve others through the Italian Honor Society and something I will carry with me forever. You have all kept the Italian in the school alive and bright. The biggest congratulations to you all. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your year. Tanti auguri. At this time, Molly Kina will sing El Mio Bel Foco. Thank you. 
Ognuno riceverà una candela. Each one of you will receive a candle. Questa simbolizza la nostra carriera nella vita. It symbolizes our career in life. Di questo modo, senza arre, esiste ma non ha vita. Unlit, it exists, but it has no life. Quella candela ci dice I hope that you will always be like a burning candle. Si mi bruciate o vita se non perisco. I hope that you will always be like a burning candle. Che la nostra vita non sia mai una candela che non arde. At this time, each of you will come forward. Ora ognuno di voi verrà avanti receive a candle a ricevere una candela with a symbolic flame la, la qui fiamma simbolizza that symbolizes l'ispirazione verso la meta ideale the inspiration toward an ideal goal venite avanti a prendere la vostra candela please come forward at this time to receive your candle
Ripete insieme il giuramento della società frase per frase. Please repeat the pledge line by line in Italian. Come membro della stazione. Come membro della stazione. As a member of. Dante Alghieri di Farmingdale High School. Dante Alighieri di Farmingdale High School. The Dante Alighieri Chapter of Farmingdale High School. Prometto di dedicarmi. Prometto di dedicarmi. I promise to dedicate myself. Allo studio della lingua italiana. Allo studio della lingua italiana. To the study of the Italian language. Ricordando che una lingua. Ricordando che una lingua. Remembering that the knowledge of a second language. Può essere un giorno un laccio forte. Può essere un giorno un laccio forte. Can one day become a strong bond? Fra persone di veri. Between people of various origins. Origini di razza e religione. Races and religions. Da cittadino della mia patria. As a citizen of my country. Mi impegno di promuovere la matizia. I am committed to promote friendship. E l'accordo fra essa. E l'accordo fra essa. And harmony. E altre nazioni del mondo. E altre nazioni del mondo. Among the countries of the world. Questa è la mia promessa. Questa è la mia promessa. This is my promise. E il mio giuramento. E il mio giuramento. And pledge. Ora ognuno di voi spegnerà la fiamma della candela tutti, ma mai della, quella dello spirito. Shortly, all of you will shut off your candle, but never the spirit. Tenga ogni membro la candela come ricordo della sua inizione in questa società. Everyone must keep the candle as a memory of this induction into this society. You may now turn off your candles. Amici dell'Otta Vita a me concessa come Presidente della Società Onoraria Italica. Friends, by the power vested in me as the President of the Italian Honor Society, vi dichiaro membri di questa Sessione Dante Alghieri di Farmington High School, venete avanti a ricevere il vostro certificato. I pronounce you members of the Dante Alighieri Chapter of Farmington High School. When your name is called, please come forward and receive your certificate. At this time, I would like to invite Treasurer Matteo Lorino and Historian Ariana, Ariana Cezana to present you with your certificates. Amy Abate.
John Giordano. <laughs> Christian Grazia Daddy. Brianne Guarino. Liam Hayden. Yendali Hernandez Perez. Josie Hoffman. And Michael Holding. David Horvat. Marco Andrelandi. Dallas Jim. Abigail Kino. Kiara Kibo. Jamie Kelly. Congratulations, inductees. Very proud of you. Now, we would like to draw our attention to the graduating seniors who have been active participants of the Italian Honor Society throughout high school. I've known most of them since ninth grade as their Italian teacher and their advisor. And I must say it's been a rewarding experience watching them grow into such beautiful, intelligent, motivated young individuals. They started their language proficiency journey in seventh grade. They successfully passed the checkpoint A and B exam and decided to continue all the way to level five. Level five is a college level course which gives our students the opportunity to earn six college credits while still in high school. Among these students are outstanding linguists. They competed in the very challenging AATI, which stands for American Associations of Teachers of Italian, poetry and singing competitions. They recited poems and poetry from Dante, Patrarca, Boccaccio, and Leopardi. I would like to commend all of the students that participated, and I would like to recognize and congratulate the winners. Elena Harbach, first place winner. <laughs> because she, she's a junior and she also won the singing competition for ATI.
Among these students are outstanding athletes, talented musicians, artists, captains, techies, actors, officers of the various clubs that Farmingdale High School offers. These students have made tremendous intellectual and personal strides. They took their love for learning the language outside of the classroom and attended every trip and cultural event I planned last year virtually this year in person. In December, they strolled through the historic Enrico Fermi Cultural Center in the Bronx and Arthur Avenue. They learned about the history of Italian and Italian Americans and their accomplishments and contributions to this beautiful country called America in honor of Amerigo Vespucci. And for the first time in history, thanks to the Farmingdale students, Arthur Avenue Bakeries ran out of cannolis. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, your children ate all the cannolis on Arthur Avenue. And may I add, that's after having a, three, a full three-course meal at Michelangelo's. So. <laughs> Last year, and this year, thanks to a very generous grant I was able to get from the Italian government for the promotion of the Italian language at Farmingdale High School, they were able to experience learning La Bella Lingua Italiana through the art of the theater with two very special Italian educational performances from Incanto Production. Last year, Sempre Verde, a show about the environment virtually. This year, Caccia al Tesoro, a show about world peace. These students are here today because they love La Bella Lingua Italiana e la cultura italiana. I'm sure you heard them more than once sing, Balla, balla, dove, quando, Giulia, l'italiano. <laughs> and while applying for colleges, writing essays, and keeping up with their daily work, they found time in their busy schedules to think about those less fortunate and take part in the numerous fundraisers the Italian society supports. This year, thanks to their gener generosity, we were able to fill St. Killian's pantry with pasta and sauce. We were able to send boxes and boxes of non-perishable foods, sanitary items, clothes to our deployed soldiers and to the citizens of Ukraine. We were also able to make birthday wishes come true for homeless children. Seniors, I will truly miss you. I will miss your buongiorno in the morning. I will miss your ciao professoress at the end of the day. I will miss seeing you at 6.45 a.m. behind my door, eager to give me your permission slip for our events and for our fundraising donations. I am confident that each one of you will experience success in your lifetime. Continue being the kind, generous, compassionate, and responsible individuals that you are. Keep up the good work and continue to make us proud. Now, we will present the graduating seniors with the Italian Department Awards. The first set of awards is for service. This year we have four recipients. As I call out your names, please come up. It is my pleasure to present these awards to the board. Member, Isabella Giordano.
Alexandra Zemeck. The third award is for Outstanding Achievement in Italian. The recipients of this award are five seniors with the highest average in Italian this year. I'm so proud of your efforts and passion for learning this beautiful language. Please come forward to receive your certificate as, as I call you. Ramita Child Harding with an average of 101.01. .01. Isabella Giordano with an average of 101.10. And Elena Harbach with an average of 101.14. their accomplishments and dedication. Officers Brian Stabile and Nicolina Kane will introduce the senior. Seniors. Annabella Barbuto, Hot School University. Matthew Vassier, Fredonia. University of Alabama. Yeah. Ramita Chowdhury, Stony Brook University. Caitlin Sinelli, Farmingdale State College. Emily Cohen, University of Delaware. Alyssa Drozdowski, SUNY Binghamton. Isabella Giordano, Quinnipiac University. Emma Grady, Quinnipiac University. Isabella Guerrero, Malloy College. Erin Hickey, Clemson University. Catherine Hickey, Franklin Pierce University. Elena Horvat, Stony Brook University. <laughs> Michaela Johnson, Monmouth University. <laughs> Matteo Lorino, Penn State University. <laughs> Emily 
Erin McGrain, University of Kentucky. Kate McLaughlin, Malloy College. Julianne McNally, St. John's University. Lauren Michelle, Sacred Heart University. Antonio Migliaccio, Full Sail University. Angela Molo, Long Island University. Michael Okipinti, SUNY Binghamton. Nadia Pinarli, Hashtra University. Angelina Vigerio, SUNY Corporal. Jacqueline Retagliato, the University of Tampa. Morelli Rodriguez, Bloomsburg University. Anthony Shaka, Cuca College. Joseph Shaka, Westchester College. Paul Shaka, Baruch College. Nora Sharif Ali, SUNY Binghamton. <laughs> Olivia Turi, Barmadale State College. <laughs> Brooke Warshawski, SUNY New Paltz. <laughs> James Zanalotti, University at Albany. Alexander Zinak, City New Paltz. Congratulations to all of you. I wish you happiness and success in your future endeavors. Thank you all for participating in the ceremony. I would like to thank our administration, the board, Mr. Joe Hassett, the music department, for all your help and support in making this event happen. I would also like to thank our singers and our flute quartet, our custodians, and our Far Farmingdale families. Grazie di cuore. Join us for refreshments in the auditorium. I'm sorry, in the comments. 